Hello guys, welcome to the channel for many years. In today's video, we are doing the tips, tricks, and features, and settings of video of the Infinix GT10 Pro. And this is the AGB2 Fashion Unit. So, let me start off from the most interesting features. So, that's the quad recording without announcement. So, just tap the dial over here, and you can see a settings icon over here. Just tap over here, and you can see auto record calls. Just turn this on, you are good to go. Now, flash for calls. That means when your screen is locked, when you receive an incoming call, you automatically your flash will be blinking. That's the flash for calls. Then the next thing is in the advanced settings, just tap over here. So you can see power button. That means when you are having an incoming call and you receive the call, and while talking, if you just want to end the call, just press this power button, the call will be ended. And then flip to mute. So if your phone is in normal mode, then if you want to just mute the call just flip up your phone like this instantly the call would be muted so just flip to mute then raise to ear that means if you are uh, in the speaker or if you are receiving incoming call just take your phone to the ear automatically answers the call that's raise to ear then answer calls with gestures here we are getting two gestures so one is showing this two with your hand and that's the answer the call and if you want to reject just show a five with your finger so that's the uh, reject call so these two gestures are available so just turn this on and the next feature is the feature as we've seen on the Samsung phone, that's the call background. So here we are getting like this. This is the call background, but we can just add this plus icon and we can add, access a video from your gallery and set that as your default video wallpaper for a call. So that option is also available. So these are the settings which is available on the dialer. Next is in the camera itself. I'm really interested for the camera. You can see starting off, we have a film mode with tons of dedicated features. You can see. We have a performance mode, travel mode, vintage mode, family mode, street mode, superstar mode, beats mode, sports mode, party mode, and emotion mode. So let me show you a quick example. So if you take this performance mode just, as, just like this, so this is performance mode. And if you just click OK, and if you just press, you can see, see, it will automatically apply a few templates like this. This is automatically doing that stuff things and the final output would be this so just with the default app this much stuff is doing and uh, next we have a video mode and you can see it can record 4k at 30 fps and we have stabilization mode also which can record 1 through p at 30 fps and over here you can see tons of options you can see tons of original professional vibrant colors option is also available then we have the bokeh mode available and then we can have some filter options also available either we can shoot at 1x or 2x and then we have the a camera option you can see the a camera option and here we can use either 108 mb or the normal mb and here is aspect ratio and here is some filters and then we have beauty mode also over here and then we have portrait mode and then we have a super night mode so really stunning options now let's talk about the app lock app hide and app cloud so first of all just start from the security and just tap the app lock so this is the app lock so i'm just drawing a pattern for the moment right now so this is the pattern which i'm drawing for the moment right now so I would just be just skipping and so here we can see all the apps which is listed over here so I'm just locking the gallery so you can see currently my gallery is locked and you can also set unlock with face so I have already unlocked with face and along with unlock just tap over here and now if I open my gallery you can see it's locked so either I can use my fingerprint or I can use my face so that's the app lock so it's over here and the next time you want to just unlock just tap over here it will be good to go so if it is in like this green color it is locked how to unlock this phone without pressing any buttons i repeat without pressing any button just lift the phone instantly you can see it unlocks how to do this just go to settings and just scroll down to security and you can see face unlock just tap and type my pin so it's done and you can see an option then phone is unlocked unlock directly or stay on lock screen. so if i put to stay on lock screen which is by default so uh, even after unlocking i need to swipe you can see it's already unlocked but i need to swipe to go to the home screen but if you set this option like this when the phone is unlocked unlock directly so whenever your face is detected automatically it will directly go to your home screen and next is how to hide applications so just go to settings and just have the personalization and just scroll down and tap the desktop setting and just scroll down you can see hidden apps just tap over here and let me set a pin one two three 456 is my pin so i have done and you can hide pictures 
videos, recordings, documents, and along with the apps. So just tap the apps and just tap this plus icon and select the app which you want to hide. So I'm hiding the calculator and just click confirm. Now you are good to go. You are now you can't find the calculator anywhere over here. You can see the calculator is completely hidden. And now if you want to unhide again, go to settings and just go to the personalization option over here. Just tap the personalization and again go to desktop setting and then just go to hidden apps and uh, just type your pin or use your fingerprint and just tap the apps and just press and hold and just click unhide and hide and now if you again go over here you can see the calculator is now visible so it's you're good to go and then the same way you can also hide your gallery photos videos and all so again go into the hidden apps and uh, you can see videos so select the plus icon and select the video this is the video so just click confirm now this video will be completed from hidden from the gallery you can see the gallery does not contain any of the albums you can see completely gone and even you can access the excel from here just tap and uh, use your fingerprint or face or your pin and just tap the video and just press and hold and hide you are good to go next is the app clone it's in the settings and just scroll down to find the special option special function and just you can see x clone so all the supported apps which support develop would be listed over here just turn this on and you can use two whatsapp two facebook's and all the support apps in two app areas different applications now the next thing is how to instantly go to any app from this lock screen so i'm just drawing a w over here w and you can see i am just typing this pin and you can see instantly it went to your uh, youtube music and i am just drawing an m over here m so again typing my pin and you can see instantly it went to youtube music how to set this up from just from the video on the screen you can go to tons of applications so just go to settings and just scroll down and you can see special function and just scroll up you can see actions and gestures and just tap this quick start and this is the area which you can customize and you can see quick start you can draw a c for camera like this you can just draw a c like this and you can ooh too fast and it can opens the camera at the right exact time and apart from that you can customize these options so you can see just tap over here start up so if you are a gamer just select the game application so if this is the game so i'm just selecting this application so if i just draw an insert over here like this instantly opens the calculator see it's super fast and fluidic see it's really fast and along with that you can assign these much functions to any of this along with that along with that you can also toggle like turn on bluetooth turn on mobile data turn on wi-fi like this so if you want to turn on flashlight so let me draw an s to turn on the flashlight s see oof it's really superb so that is uh the quick options which is available so special function just scroll up actions and gestures and next is tapping wake that means double tap uh, to uh, wake this phone so that option is also available then uh, music gesture options so that means if you are want to just previous play uh next song previous song by just this small gestures to the left right up and down that option is also available and then a raise to ear so we have already discussed about these features in the uh, call dial itself and then we have a uh, lift to wake option which is also available so make sure you turn this on and then we answer calls with gesture we have also discussed this in the dialogue section and then we have the screenshots how to take your screenshot this turn this on and this is the way to take your screenshot and how to take a partial screenshot that means if you only need a particular portion just press and hold with these three fingers and draw the exact area which you need and just click either you can click edit and you can not you know n o t e and you can share instantly or you can directly do the same so it's a super screenshot option this also will over here this is the one among the best featured os and if you if i swipe down with two fingers you can see it automatically goes to the uh what we call home screen settings and if i just swipe up with two fingers you can see it went to the x side where you can hide your photos videos and all and if i swipe with three finger down and you can see to take a screenshot and if i swipe down with two fingers like this it would automatically uh, go to google so how to set this up first of all just go to settings and just scroll down to personalization and just scroll down you can see desktop setting and just go to the just just look at this video which is available on just the launch slide up slide down 
slide up with two fingers slide down with two fingers pinch in with two fingers pinch out with two fingers oof man tons of features are available within the just the launcher application itself actually this is a feature loaded ui this much features on a ui i never seen any ui which is packed with this much features this much i repeat once again oof and you can see uh, slide up on launcher i would just you can set to any of your favorite a section like quick launch voice search and all and if i just slide down with two fingers slide up with two fingers so for example slide down with two fingers i am using this uh, what do you call uh startup and i can use the chrome so just so uh, slide down with two fingers so you can see slide down with two fingers instantly you can see it went to the chrome so too much of features in my personal opinion and you can see next is a personalization so here we are having too much of themes option available over there just one and then uh, we can download from the online uh, and then we have a few of the wallpapers which is available live wallpaper which is available over there and then apart from that we have a static wallpaper option also available and then we have an online set of wallpapers and then we can set the wallpapers from the gallery and next is the always on display you can see you can customize the always on display styles of lot of styles options are available and if you want to turn on the solution on display just tap over here and this is the few options which is available over here and if you don't want to show the better percentage just you can uh, just uncheck this one and if you don't want to show the date just uncheck this one but my personal preference would be selecting all of this and you can even select the color of uh, the clock along with that text so that's upon your personal preference and next you can just tap the more for the same set of functions and then we have the desktop setting which we have already discussed and apart from that we have an appearance option which we can change the icon size purge turn effect like a third party launcher which is applied so a lot of features are available over there then along with that we have desktop grid text color so a lot of customization and we have already talked about the gestures when we can have a number badge should be shown or not and then if you tap the others we can have a few more options like folder scrolling pin icons to the screen options and next we have my phones option which we can just add uh, and download few more phones and then we can have this option that we, my video is almost the uh, call background option which we already discussed then the magazine option that means each and every time while you uh, unlock your phone each and every time the lock screen will be showing new developers so that option is also available over there next is turning on a multi window is really simple so just swipe up like this and just place this either on the right or on the left automatically it would be on the small pop-up window like this we can use like this or we can just tap to enlarge it and either you can use the sizes and all and if you want to close just close okay so it's really cool so just drag like this and instantly it would be on pop window and at the same time you can access other applications at all so it's in the uh, special function and you can see lightning multi window just tap over here make sure you turn this option on and turn full screen into floating windows that option is swipe up with three fingers like this so all the support apps so if i am in the play store if you want a single simple gesture just do like this instantly it will be go to the uh, small pop window or you can do the stuff like this see also what of open window so that's your personal friends which is your best one and next we have a memory fusion that means set virtual ram so effectively this phone is currently comes with the 8 gb to fetch variant but you can expand 8 plus 8 so that totally you will get 16 gb of ram on this phone so that's the mem fusion next we have a smart panel option which is also available so just tap over here and how to turn this on so just uh, go back and hold like this instantly you can see a smart window would be a small pop window would be appear like this and even just can plus edit and select the apps which you only need so if you don't like this set of applications just uh, unclick and select the application which you need and just click done and the best part is so if you're in chrome you can access that application just you need to go back and just leave the finger over here for a few seconds until this s icon appears and you can leave automatically this small window will be appear and if you want to open suppose uh, settings you can see it all goes to settings and just again go back and just do like this instantly again appears so if you can do this from both sides you can see yes see yes appears and now leave the finger automatically uh the window appears so that was uh the 
smart panel then we have social turbo here we can see voice changer video retouching voice uh, recorder peak mode and some options are available and along that we have the game mode so we can see few of the game mode options are available that means we can have the game game enhancement options which is available so i first of all you need to install applications and then we can have the game management option so all the high performance games should be added to this list so suppose if i'm having a game so you need to turn this on suppose this drive is the game so you need to turn on to use it in the maximum mode so that option is also available and then we have a bypass charging option that means whenever you are charging this phone and you are playing game you should turn this on so that wise the phone won't be heated so next is the backlight effect which is on the back of the phone so you can see so whether when should it appear so for incoming calls you can just click none if you don't need or if you want you can type uh, three types you can see the one is the flowing light then meteor and then one is breathing so we can set it up based on your need so you can see charging uh startup games wow these much options are available also we are getting a light effect duration that means if you are in night and if you want like to disturb your sleep with this light then you can turn on turn this off you can see you can have a start time and end time so that basically depends upon your person need and then we have also having a video assistant that means when you are playing videos it would be enhance your video viewing experience so just turn this option also on and next we have a kids mode option next we are getting a peak proof that means only show a specific uh, portion and the remaining portion would be grayish you can see so if i am reading good to this portion suppose if you're in train or some bus where a lot of people are surrounding you and if you need a private space and if you want to just read like this you can just go like this and this portion would be having this uh, gray shade so they won't see and only you can see the exact area which you need so this option is also you can extend this like this and just go back to this next we are getting the display and brightness so here is the light mode and this is the dark mode so you can see dark mode light mode and uh, here we are getting the high brightness mode especially if you are going outdoor in a bright sunny day you should turn this on and then we have a screen refresh rate so it's on it can be either 60 90 or 120 so i would be if it, you are feeling not on 120 hertz while you're using auto switch to refresh rate then you can forcefully use the 120 hertz and then we can have the eye comfort mode or eye care so that means if you are using your phone especially in the night in your room without any lights turned on you should use this so it's like a blue light filter which reduces the harmful blue light to your eyes and uh, uh, gives comfort to your eyes so that option is also available then we have the color style so i would be recommending to keep it on a bright color for the maximum color vibrancy so that is also available then we can we can have another mode for the uh, prevent mistension so that is also available and then we have a lock screen features which is also shown over here and we can add a text on lock screen my personal favorite is gold is love so you can see it's done and my lock screen so if i show you the lock screen right now you can see the gold is love text would be shown over there so that is the lock screen settings and then apart from that we can have the status bar option so whether you don't need the battery percent to be shown just click off and if you don't want to know the internet speed just click off so currently you can see i am using the gesture navigation so there is no button so how to go there so just have the system and you can see system navigation so you can see three button navigation is by default and you can just go to system navigation it's really simple just swipe up for the home and for the back either you can just do this left swipe or right swipe you can see right swipe left swipe for the back and for the reason just swipe and stop in the middle for the reasons and for the home just do a swipe like this so it's really simple so that's the option which is available over there next we have the notification icons over here so if you want it more bit a bit more aligned so just tap over here edit shortcut icons and just you can see you can do this stuff and if you don't need this to be on the top just drag to the bottom and it would be on bottom and if you don't need just click and tick automatically it will be go down and if you want to add some of them live from here to here just swipe and drag to here now you are good to go so yes that was it regarding the quick tips tricks hidden features and settings of the video of the infinite gt10 pro so guys i would be doing the gt10 pro versus the m34 later on so guys stay tuned to subscribe signing off it's for mania